is confirmed, which would be BB Gun Gun versus Nostal. Ah, oh, so it is Cthulhu Druid. This is the second time this week that we're seeing Cthulhu Druid. Cthulhu Druid is strong too, if you're able to play on Kirk consistently. Yeah. Yeah, pretty strong. I mean, Innervay and I mean, Wild Growth tend to make you like curve out pretty hardcore. Yeah. You know, I've been playing hey, look, a lot of. I've, uh, been, Wild Growth. I've been playing against a lot of uh, Cthulhu Druids on ladder. It's making me a little mad too. Just because they can innervate like such big creatures so fast and it's so hard to remove. A taunt yeah, after five, a taunt. Ancient of War? So killy. Yeah, taunt after a taunt. Yeah, did you just coin here? Oh, yeah, so you can just immediately go into the uh, the three drop, the other. Mm -hmm. I like it, because then uh, you have the follow up for four potential damage with the Disciple plus the Roots. Mm -hmm. But now you could actually just root. Ah, oh, no, Cthulhu's Disciple. Or Disciple of Cthulhu. It's pretty good here. Ooh. Interesting. That Mark of the Wild. Mark of the Wild. Give a creature plus two. Plus yeah, two. yeah, that's that oh, actually is interesting. Not a lot of them actually run that card. Well, I personally don't run it in my Cthulhu Druid. But what do you what do you think the reasoning for that is? I mean, a lot of the Cthulhu cards don't actually have taunt besides uh, Dark Arakoa and Twin Emperor. True. So you're just gonna make a uh, make it more annoying for your opponents, I see. But when you do the when you do play Mark of the Wild on the uh, Cthulhu's Chosen, it would be pretty annoying just because it does have a divine shield, like a two one. I think the strongest one is probably Cthulhu's Chosen, like those um, Cthulhu. And so Wars. is Forgotten Torch this turn better than Flame Waker, Arcane Missiles, or just Water Elemental? Hard to say. Yeah, very hard to say. So he ended up attacking with the uh, the Mana Worm first, just to increase the odds of hitting the Elder. Drake's coming now. Ooh, Fireball. Fireball's looking pretty good. I like this. But then, you, you know that this is a Cthulhu Druid. Like, how do you deal with Dark Arakoa and all those other things? Like, uh, this, this is challenging. Oh yeah, Flame Waker so is a little better. Chain. Yeah, yeah, Flame Waker is a little better. Yeah, at least you're you're allowing yourself to have something that's sticky on board. Like, something like a Mana Worm against pretty... Uh, like you're moved by almost anything like a Wrath or a Living Roots, but this requires some like this one way. Back in there. Yeah, but when you're swiping one minion, it definitely feels kind of good. You're also following up the Faceless Summoner, too. This Record of Evil might be huge next turn. <laughs> yeah. Nobody expects the Mark of the Wild, man. Nobody expects it. No, it's not to be able to deal with one elemental. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah, Faceless Summoner yeah. Yeah. is just way better. It's yeah, just it's way huge. better. Oh, yeah. look. <laughs> I don't think the deck actually has any way to get value out of that, but whatever. Mm -hmm. What yeah. did it say? Yeah, Faceless uh, Summoner is way better here, because the Water Elemental for next turn is like on curve. You're playing on curve. Like, you beat Mana Fisher before going towards Water Elemental the next turn. So it's mm. Double Innervate. Ooh, double Innervate. Yeah, I, I don't think that matters anyway, because like, it's yeah. not even close to turn 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> But if it lives and that far, maybe. But yeah. It lives that far. So we're probably going to see Waller Mental plus Forgotten Torch. Ooh, picked up the Roaring Torch. So this game might actually end real fast. Mm -hmm. Like, Temple Mage actually always had the advantage against uh, Ram Spirit. Yeah, Druids but... in general. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say these days who has what advantage and whatnot. Mm hmm. Mage does have the Yoxer on to actually help them out in the end. Probably kill the Faceless Summoner here with the Disciples, Cthulhu, and yeah, the Wrath. And leading with the Elder, like mm -hmm. that too. Maybe you taunt the Elder here as well. Wait, no, he used it. No, 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 he used it. I wasn't paying attention to that. Wow. Yeah. I mean, well, double innervate, you're getting really close to 10 mana. It almost ooh, feels like. Well, fortunately enough, that Deadly Kitten does actually have the Norse to draw into cards and make use of those um, innervates. Yeah, he has uh, a few turns. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There we go, Dark Arakoa. So let's see if he top deck. Ooh, he's choosing. Oh, he's probably just gonna innervate it out. Yeah, innervate it out. Just bad. seeing his options first. Mm -hmm. Draw some cards. Ooh, Claxi too. Would you play the Claxi? Uh, yeah, he. Nah, I don't think that's worth. I think you need to some taunts, like something big that could deal with this one elemental, right? But this Claxi is huge. It's four he's going ten. up to 
Eight. So maybe he's playing both four drops. I like yeah. both. Yeah, I like both as well. Yeah, getting the second four drop does change a lot. It's really sturdy against this water elemental. But I think you're starting to. Uh... Oh, would we see a fireball here? I, I would. I would like to see a fireball here. Like nah, I think just go fireball. face. Oh, just go face with fireball. I think you're getting really close to that lethal damage. I mean, you have another Ooh. fireball, another roaring Ooh. torch, another. Like you're not gonna be able to get through taunts, and you know it at this point. Like oh, true, true, true. Even if you kill the the taunt minions, you're just not gonna have enough power on board. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So getting some value out of it is pretty good. Yeah. It looks like he's gonna go with the trade, not attack face. Like it might be. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say. Like it might be better to actually just attack face, because then you immediately have a chance to win the game by drawing a fireball. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 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 Not playing the Drake first. I think that might have been a mistake. Yeah. Okay, well, he so, so he's just planning to just play the taunt. Just because he's maybe af afraid of face damage from the minions. Like any kind of well, possible kind of minions. I mean... Uh, it is a lot stick here. Is Leroy stick. is like the only thing besides faceless yeah. summoner su um, summoning a horse rider or something, right? Yeah. But I think Drake would have been better there because then he could have actually drew a card mm -hmm. and traded into a wild elemental and then just kill off the other minion and then play the Dark Arakawa. But, I mean... Ooh, Ooh, double dark, uh, dark Ember Galaxy. Yeah, a means that he's likely not playing Ragnaros. Oh, and a Twin Emperor. So this game might end really fast. Unless we just get a survey picks up another Fireball. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. he, he it, it, his... it's very close. They're, they're playing top decks here. Fireball? He, he, oh, Polymorph. That does buy him some time. That actually does buy him a little bit oh. of more time. But he has to consistently uh, ping the face each and every time. Well, he he doesn't have to ping it. Oh, like, yeah, he, I guess... Only he has his opponent at 12. Yeah, so. he keeps his 12, so he does have, like... He, he could be at 13, and he could just yeah. ping it off, and yeah. he'd be at 12. Uh, does this change anything? No. Clock is still the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Twin Emperor. Attack for 5... Nine, putting him down to 19. Is he dead next turn with swipe? 8, 12, 16, 17? Yeah, he's dead with swipe next turn. So, this is the last draw. Last draw. Okay, luck is still top deck. Oh, no, that man. is not it. That is not it. So, yeah, so 12, yeah. So, it's lethal next turn. Yeah, it's lethal, so. So, he can Roaring Torch off the uh, one of the Twin Emperors. Mm-hmm. He and then he probably should have waited to use his hero power. Yeah. Probably ping off the Drake Ooh, or something. Interesting. You know, he could have freezed one of the minions on board and still stayed alive. He would be one off lethal. So yeah, he still I think had he's a just, chance. I think he knows that he, he lost at this point. Yeah. There's so many things that he's dead to. Yeah. That's why I actually liked removing a creature. Like, I didn't really want to commit there with, uh, with going to face. Well, it was still really close. Yeah, like, you was. had multiple cards that in your deck that you could just immediately draw. Like, there was even multiple draws. Like, he could have just drawn, you know, two Frostbolts or something like that, too.